The playing field is crowded and it disadvantages humans. We're re-envisioning taking our cities back for humans rather than for uh, machinery that kind of wipes us out if it collides with us. Next step. Burford Furman wants to change the way we commute. This hang down beneath it. There are alternatives than what we're currently doing now. His team of budding engineers is building an elevated people mover. It's called the Spartan Superway. It's part of their senior class project, and they're about to unveil it to the world. Today is a big deal because today is the last day for these student teams to get ready for Maker Faire. They'll be showcasing the Superway in the Bay Area Maker Fair. Close to two million people are expected to attend, so the pressure is on to get everything right. Maker Faire is a big deal because it's going to allow us to show our hard work, our time spent, and prove to ourselves that we can, we can solve these kinds of problems. The current modes of transportation are inefficient. We're coming out with like electric cars and everything, but it still doesn't solve the problem of traffic. It doesn't solve the problem of uh, car accidents and congestion and stuff. So the Spartan Superway is really revolutionary because it frees up all that open space and is also sustainable. It's similar to a monorail, but with a twist. It would work more like Uber. You call it when you need it. One of the reasons why we're suspending vehicles from the guideway is we have the top surface of the guideway available to put a canopy of photovoltaic panels so that we can collect all the energy that's needed to power it. Right now in our streets, we've got a lot of solar energy hitting asphalt and heating our cities, which is a waste. Why not collect that? 